God, I love the first day of school. You get to see who got bangs, who got boobs, who got a new boyfriend. <laughs> this season, we pick up right where we left off. Once we reacquaint ourselves with the characters, we see how they matured since season one. Season two goes further. A lot of the characters have their own stories unfold. Each character feels like an unrestrained version of themselves that we saw in season one. Mom, Benji is my boyfriend, and I'd like you to call him that. Victor is trying to find his place in the LGBT community after his coming out. He has to live authentic to himself at school, being with Benji and being proud about it and not hiding. Benji and Victor have very different backgrounds. Because of that, there's new challenges and things that they need to work through individually and as a couple. Victor's mum is having a very hard time and she directs this frustration onto Benji. And I'm excited for people to see where the relationship goes. I don't think I could give up on you. One of the themes is self-identity and everyone's going through their own challenges and successes. I really love Mia's storyline, her not having a mom in her life. Everyone thinks that she's like this perfect girl. Mia, I think, is trying to find where she fits. Queens before peen, say the word and I will ditch these gays like a corporation after Pride Month. <laughs> For Lake, she is challenged by her relationship with Felix, stemming from his mother's mental health. She is suffering from massive depression. So he has to take care of his mom, and it creates conflict that Felix has to overcome. You okay? I'm good, yeah, but uh, give the rest of us a chance. You do look really good. You clean up pretty well yourself, Salazar. Okay, if someone doesn't give me a compliment about how I look, I'm not going. <laughs> the addition of Rahim, he's a significant new player in Victor's life. So they have a lot of relatable moments because religion and because they're both people of color. Benji's really mad that I haven't been standing up to my mom more. He's just... White? Sorry, I did not mean to be presumptuous. Hello, hello. Hey. Lucy coming into the group, it's a nice fresh energy. Can I gosh about Ava Capri for a moment? She's wildly kind. This season, we are digging into more problems within the LGBT community itself. What is the perfect level of gay that will keep everyone happy? <laughs> because apparently, I'm too gay for the locker room, but I'm not gay enough for Benji and his friends. It's so much more mature. As they're a year older, the show is also maturing. This cast is super freaking talented. It's a caring, open show. It's for everyone where everyone feels included. It's important for teenagers to see themselves on screen and feel like what they're going through is okay. It's heartwarming, it's sweet, it's a little bit dramatic. I think uh, you might be seeing a little bit more than just a kiss in a hotel room this season. <laughs> That's, I think, all I need to say. <laughs>